Hi, this is Asa, and welcome to my audio experience. Triple eight two eight three seven two seven two. You can also go to the website, go to Believe Health TV. Of course, that's our network, and of course, everything there, original shows and programming. If you want to go check any of those out, go to Believe Health TV. It is our new network that I'm so excited about, and we're creating new programs for it each and every day. It's like going gangbusters i'm so excited if you haven't joined our health club oh my gosh our health club is a place where you can come in and it's a community it's our healthy community where everybody comes together and it's great because you can get around someone else that maybe have struggled with what you struggle with like if they you need to lose 50 pounds they've already lost 100 pounds right like they can walk you through that or if you've been on three or four medications with high blood pressure they have learned how to get off of those medications and not have high blood pressure anymore like these are real stories of people that really have struggled and there are people in there that just need to lose 10 pounds or have hormone issues or deal with depression or have arthritis and ache and hurt and they're trying to figure out how to get their body working right again. So it's one of those places where we can all come together as a community, as a family and be able to make a difference in everybody's life. So go check us out. Go to Believe Health TV. You'll see the health club there. And I just encourage you to be a part of it. When you subscribe to our channel and you subscribe to uh, all that we have, then you can be a part of that family and, of course, have all the resources available to you. We're going to talk about a lot today. I want to get into a couple of things. One is we're going to talk about magnesium. Now, magnesium is a mineral that we talk about a lot because we really are deficient in it a lot. Like the magnesium in the soil today, no matter if it's organic, inorganic, whatever kind of food you're eating, the soil itself today, in America especially, is very depleted. So we're not getting the amount of magnesium that we need out of that. Now, magnesium is responsible, keep this in mind, for over 300 processes in the body. 300, that's a lot. Like 300 processes in the body. So getting enough magnesium is vital. Getting enough to where it makes a difference in your body is really, really important. So I would encourage you a couple of things. One, magnesium glycinate is the supplement, the best one to use. We have a magnesium matrix, which has a combination of different magnesiums. If you go to our health store there at Believe Health TV, you'll find that there. But magnesium is responsible for the 300 processes. But let me give you three that maybe you didn't know about, okay? It's responsible for lowering blood pressure in the body. If someone has hypertension or high blood pressure, Getting the magnesium levels correct in the body is one of the number one things you can do to stabilize blood pressure levels in the body, to help normalize that. Now, of course, eating fruits and vegetables and all that is important too, but getting the right levels of magnesium in the body is essential for high blood pressure. Number two, it helps with diabetes. People that have a, a magnesium deficiency have a high risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Why is that? Because just 100 milligrams of magnesium has been proven to drop blood sugar levels by a 15-point difference. Okay, that's a lot. So if you go deficient just a little bit in magnesium, it can affect your blood sugar levels by a major, major piece. So that's why getting enough magnesium is really important. Now, magnesium glycinate, I'll say that again, glycinate, okay? Again, if you can't figure out how to spell it or whatever, go to the website. Uh, you can go to any of my social media, find any of it there, or just call us. You can call us at the number, and we'll, we'll get all that information to you. Now, again, another thing that is really important about magnesium, and this is when I take it. So I take magnesium every day. Now, I eat great, just like I teach you, but I take magnesium every day, even still, because I know I'm defi like I, I know I'm not getting enough, right? And it's one of those minerals that I, I think you, everybody needs to uh, to, to really, you know, I, I just think it's important. You have to. But it's really important for sleeping. So if you have insomnia or depression or you have a hard time sleeping, magnesium is one of those minerals that if you don't get enough of it, you, you aren't going to sleep as soundly as you could. So magnesium plays a huge role in your sleep patterns. And again, it's something as, as small as 100 milligrams can make a huge difference. So just getting enough of the magnesium is important along the way to make you get into a deeper stage of sleep. And I can tell you, the nights that I forget or whatever, just get in a hurry or pass out because I'm traveling and I'm just tired, the nights that I go to sleep without taking the magnesium, I can tell a massive difference in the depth quality of my sleep and how I feel the next day. So it's a major player. So we're talking about minerals and especially magnesium. Magnesium is, is I think, just, again, it's, it's a vital piece of what we need in our everyday diet. You can get it from fruits and vegetables, but you have to eat a lot. <laughs> okay, you can get it from nuts and seeds, but you have to eat a lot. 
So that's why the supplementing of that is really, really important. All right, and you can always give us a call, 888 You can text me. There's a text number as well. Also, DM me on any of the social media, and we can make it part of the show. Okay, whatever you want to do, however you want to connect with us, look, we're here for you each and every day, no matter what. And also, rem- remember this, that we're giving a copy of my free book away, away for free hard copy book. Now, it's my best-selling book. It's got the anti-inflammatory diet in it. It's got the food list in it. It breaks down everything, even how to read your own blood test from A to Z. This book has everything in it. Go to myfreehealthbook.com. That's myfreehealthbook.com, and we'll send you the latest copy of my hard copy best-selling book to give you just to be an encouragement to you and help to you to get you going in the right direction for where you need to be. Let's get on the phones now and talk to Hilda. Hi, Hilda. I want to ask about taking metformin and uh, a Lola pain. I'm a diabetic, seven, 86 years old, and I don't lost so much weight. I'm down to 130, and the doctor say I, he can't take me off it, and uh, I want to get off of it, and uh, and I want to know what will happen to me if I don't take it. <laughs> if I take 850 milligrams. Yeah. A day, and I need to tell me something about that metformin because a lot of people is on it, and they're getting poor as a snake. And I, I'm, I'm just so thin, I just can't. I'm tired of it. <laughs> Bless your heart. I, I, I know who, who's not tired of taking medications if you have to take them. The last thing you want to do is have to take medication the rest of your life, right? When a doctor tells you that, you're like, I'm sorry, what? I don't want to take that the rest of my life. Uh, the one thing I always say about medicine, and metformin is great. Uh, amylodipine is great. Those are great medications. And when I say great, I mean they, they're great. Remember, medicine manages. In these kind of situations, it's like a Band-Aid. It's, it's like glue that holds everything together. So the medicine manages, and it does a great job of it. But you don't want to be on it forever. And the only way not to be on that kind of medication is really give your body what it needs, start to work on it, build your body back up, and get into a place where you don't have to be stuck. And the only way to do that is to really start with your eating habits, okay? So Hilda, the first thing you've got to do is look at your eating habits. Start with your diet, okay? The anti-inflammatory diet, whether you have blood pressure, which you do, issues, or diabetes, which you do have those issues. It starts with you eat, like we are what we eat. And the anti-inflammatory diet balances out equal amounts of lean protein sources like chicken, fish, beef, or eggs, low glycemic carbohydrates in the form of fruits and vegetables, and then good healthy fats, almonds, walnuts, cashews, avocados. Remember, when you eat a fat and you eat a protein with a carbohydrate, it balances out the blood sugar. If you eat carbs by themselves, that's a lot of times when the blood sugar goes up. So I like to have a protein or a fat with a carb to stabilize blood sugar. Also... If you have diabetes, it's important to eat foods from all the research about every three hours. It stabilizes blood sugar along the way. Now, unless you're in ketosis, which is a way of eating that puts your body where you're not eating a lot of carbohydrates, like 50 grams a day, mostly protein and fat, and then your body starts to burn fat as a fuel. You know, if you've got extreme case of diabetes, I think keto, a ketogenic diet is the way to go. It really stabilizes the blood sugar levels in a great way, in a fast way, and in a very healthy way. If you're looking for increased strength, increased endurance, and better recovery, then look no further than an all-natural nutritional supplement called creatine hydrochloride. Concrete is the brand, and it's the most absorbable form of creatine hydrochloride found today. Now, creatine is not just for athletes, you've probably heard that before, but concrete, creatine hydrochloride, is for the everyday person looking to improve their health. Listen, I started taking creatine in college when I was a strength conditioning coach at Florida State University, and I've taken it ever since my college years, and it's made a massive difference in my life. Everything in my body, I believe, is functioning better because of creatine. Creatine hydrochloride I've moved over to using concrete, and it is the best form of creatine on the market. Concrete creatine hydrochloride is available at most Walmart stores and on walmart.com or any store that carries nutritional supplements. Just make sure to look for concrete brand creatine hydrochloride and watch your endurance, your strength, and your recovery, and your immune system get boosted today. To find out more, connect with On Call Radio online at mchapenetwork.com. 
most of the medical community now has embraced the ketogenic diet, ketogenic diet as a great tool. So I would look into that as well. But I would start with the anti-inflammatory diet. Just go to MyFreeHealthBook.com, MyFreeHealthBook.com, get a copy of it so you can have it. And then, of course, our, our health club, we have a master class in the health club if you want to join that. And then, of course, you've got health coach providers that can lock arms with you and help you along the way. But I would start there. Because your eating habits are going to matter. Don't worry so much about like what supplements to take and things like chromium and, and turmeric and, and all of these things. Don't worry about that right now. Focus on your eating habits. When you have diabetes and blood pressure issues, number one. And don't forget the magnesium I talked about. The magnesium is important. Okay, so you do want to you want to make sure you follow that and, and kind of, you know, you can add those things back in. Even the foods that, that are loaded with magnesium. Again, my book has that in there. You'll have that in there or just go to the website, go to Believe Health TV and you can check all that out. But I would look at the book because it breaks everything down. It's free too. we'll just send it to you uh, for being such a great viewer and listener. You know, we're so grateful to have you here and to be a part. We just want we treat you like family. We always do. Now. One of the things I've got to focus and tell you on, and it's so, so important. It's it's like really important. And we're going to go to the phones here in just a minute. By the way, if you haven't given us a call, you can always call us, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Or go to Believe Health TV. All of our original programming is there. You can find that. It's our, our new platform. You can check it out, Believe Health TV. It's all on Roku, uh, Fire TV, Amazon Fire TV. You can check it out, uh, Hulu, and also Amazon, I'm sorry, uh, Apple TV as well. All those places, wherever it's got streaming, you can find us. Just type in Believe Health TV, and you'll be able to, to find us there along the way. But I want to talk to you. This is really important, and I, I think it's vital. We talk about supplements a lot. And people want to know, what about exercise and what kind of supplements do I need? The foundational four are the four that we talk about. Now, on our website, if you go to Believe Health, you can either do, we've got a, a really cool, I've formulated a powder where you can do one scoop a day and get everything that you need in the foundational four. Or you can take the four individual products together. But here's what's in that that's really important. So these are the four things that you don't get in your normal food and eating, uh, uh, even if you're eating organic, it doesn't matter. Our soil is so depleted, you're not getting everything that you need, okay? So the foundational four is this, a good whole food multivitamin that gives you a little bit of the vitamins and minerals that you need to fill in the gaps. And then the other thing is a good enzyme. A digestive enzyme helps you to break the food down because most of us only break down about 15 to 20% of the foods we eat every single day because our microbiome, the environment of our gut is so jacked up. And so that's important. And then the third thing that's important, we call number three, is a, 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 what we call an EFA or omega-3 fatty acid, okay, or essential fatty acid. These are really vital. And the more testing we do, blood tests we do on anybody that we work with, with our health coach providers, when we do blood testing, we find that these fatty acid levels are extremely low. And it's important to build those up regardless. And so getting an um, essential fatty acid, your omega-3 fatty acid in on a regular basis matters. Number four is your probiotics. Probiotics put the good bacteria back in your digestive tract to give you a little bit of everything that you need so your body can function in a very healthy way. So these are the keys, the foundational four. Now, vitamin D on top of that is really important. It's something that we don't get in our food supply, but having enough vitamin D3 is really important to get a little bit of everything that you need. So I would encourage you to add that, but you have to get blood tested. Like, don't just take vitamin D because so-and-so said take, oh, 5,000 units a day or 10,000 units a day. You, all, you need to get tested. It's a fat-soluble vitamin, which means that it builds up in your system. And it takes a lot of it to get toxic, but with everything going on right now with our immune system and in our in our climate, as you will, if you will, in our global climate with viruses, you want to make sure that your immune system is as strong as possible, but we've always said that, not just during this time, but always. So to do that, you want to make sure that you're getting in uh, enough vitamin D and you get a blood test done. I think every, every physician on the planet now agrees with the research on vitamin D. Zinc is important as well. Vitamin C is important as well. But the foundational four are the four things that everybody needs, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, kids, that we just don't get in our food supply. And I would look at using those on a regular basis in, in adjunct or in addition to 
a really healthy diet. You know, at least 80% of the time eating healthy, 20% do what you want. I, I like the 90-10 rule. So 90% of the time eat healthy, 10% you can do what you want. Uh, it's, you know, again, our habits make everything with our health, right? So your habits determine where you are right now. If you're overweight, it's your habits. If you're dealing with high blood pressure, it's been your habits. If you're dealing with diabetes, guess what? It's not just mom and grandpa that passed it down. It's your habits. But the good news is if you can go into that, you can get out of that with your choices that you're making every single day. And that's the great news about it. Like nothing is final, right? Nothing until you go home to see Jesus is final, right? If you believe that, like nothing, nothing is final. So you have a choice today to exercise. You have a choice today to eat healthy. You have a choice today to think right, to treat people right, to forgive, to drink more water. You get it? It's all about our choices every single day. I'm so glad you're with us. Look, this show is about you. Remember that. We want to see you become the best version of you and reach your potential because no one else can take responsibility for your health but you. You are in charge of you. No one else is. Your mom, grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, your parents, your coworkers, your loved ones. No one can take responsibility for your life but you. You have to do that. No one else can do that. So you have to step up and say, you know what? I, I've got to change. I can't be eating donuts every single day. I can't be eating junk food every single day. I can't just lay around and not exercise every single day. I've got to get up and move and make myself go to the next level with my health and my life. And only, only I can do that. Only you can do that. Nobody else can do that but you. Make sure to give us a call. You can always call us and be part of the show. Uh, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. 7272. You can always go to Believe Health TV as well and be a part of all that we're doing. We just want to encourage you, equip you, and help you to get where you're where you need to go. Because look, your health is your greatest wealth. It is your vehicle. If you don't think it is, lose your health for just a minute. And you will figure out that all the money in the world is not worth anything if you don't have your health. So our health is vital, it's important. And I want to encourage you, you can text me if you want. We have a text number. Go to the website, go to Believe Health TV, our network. You can check out there. We've got a text number that you can always use. But we're here for you regardless. Whatever you want to, whatever you struggle with, whatever you deal with, whatever you need help with, we're always here to help you to get to that next level with your health and your life. Okay, so just know that we're here in every way to help. I want to talk about low vitamin D levels for just a minute. I see you on the phone, so hang tight. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best-selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to AsaRx.com and get your free book today. Did you know that you can listen to the AsaRx audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at AsaRx.com slash experience. To find out more, visit the show online, InShapeNetwork.com. But a low vitamin D levels they're saying now may boost Alzheimer's risk. And let me tell you, if I if I tested a thousand people in the clinic, nine hundred and ninety nine would be very low in vitamin D, like very low. And they're saying, I mean, it really is. So you think that you're getting out in the sunshine? I've had, I'm serious. I've had construction workers that are like so tan. From being in the sun eight hours a day and they've got low vitamin D, why is that? It's because after the age of about 35, our skin lacks the ability to absorb and convert sunlight into vitamin D in our bodies. So we have to get it from our diet. And many times we're not getting enough of it from our diet, so we have to supplement. Matter of fact, I believe that just about everybody now in this day and time should, especially with everybody being indoors working, should supplement with vitamin D. I think it's vital. Now you need to get blood tests done to check and see what your vitamin D levels are, but supplementing with it on a regular basis does make a major difference. And now we know for a fact that the research is so strong that adults over age 65, especially anyone that's been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, has severely low vitamin D levels. And so, again, not that hard. You can just get pick it up at your health food store if you go to Believe Health TV, our website. Our health store there has it, so it's not hard to get. But it's something that you want to be consistent with. But researchers have shown more than anything that severe low levels, and this is like down in the lower end of the even the healthy range, around 30, have been shown to be connected with Alzheimer's and dementia. 
So you think about brain chemistry and brain health and your vitality and how well you think. Think about vitamin D and getting the right nutrients in every single day. Look, the anti-inflammatory diet is a great way to start if you're looking for just a, a place to start learning how to eat healthy, and we're giving that to you for free. So just go to the website, go to myfreehealthbook.com, myfreehealthbook.com. They'll send you a copy just for being a viewer to support you because you support us in every way possible, and just, you know, it's family helping family. Remember, you can always become the best version of you. Look, we've got so much packed for you today in this show. I'm excited. Man, I'm excited. Why? Because I want you to become the best version of you. I don't want you to stay where you are. Do you, who right now thinks that they've scratched the surface to their potential? Nobody needs to be raising their hand. I know you're not raising your hand because you haven't. I haven't. Like, we have so much inside of us that is not that's just not been scratched to the surface. Like we, we have so much that we can do, be, and have. And, and really, we need the vehicle of our health to be able to do that. So to make the right kind of choices, to lose the weight, to come off the medications, to not be stuck, to, not, to have better mobility and not be stuck in a wheelchair or, or feel like you're immobile, right? To get your body to a place where you can thrive and you are going to be better today than you were yesterday. It's all about choices, and it's about making the right kind of decisions so you can thrive and not just barely make it. We want to see you thrive. We want to see you do well and not be stuck in a position in a place where you don't feel like you can grow. Look, if you've made some bad choices because of where you are, I just want you to know it's okay. We all have. I have. But you're in a place right now where you can make a new decision today to get better, to be better. And that's what we want to do here on the show. Look, always give me a call, 888-283-7272. That's 888-283-7272. Or go check us out at Believe Health TV. It's Believe Health TV. Go on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, any of your streaming devices, uh, Apple TV, and look up Believe Health TV. You'll find us there. And all of our original programming, this show included, you'll find there and be able to have an encouragement to you each and every day. That's what we want to be for you every day. All right. Now, you can always send me emails. You can DM me on any of the social media like Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Instagram, all of that. Also, uh, you can reach out any way you want, and we'll connect with you, like this email. So we have Paul in Boston, Massachusetts. He says, I was diagnosed with AFib. What is this exactly, and what do I do about it? All right, so everybody, anybody that gets diagnosed with AFib, they, they get really concerned, and rightfully so, because it can feel kind of scary, the way that it feels. And your heart starts fluttering. It means that it's out of rhythm, or can mean that. But the reality is this. What we found more than anything is that AFib is connected with a B vitamin deficiency. Now, it's not always the case, but many times it can be. And so a B vitamin deficiency, you got to remember that, the B vitamins come in fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables. So in our society right now, the statistic is, and you're not going to believe this because you're going to think, well, I eat vegetables every single day. No, you don't. Iceberg lettuce does not count, okay? That salad you got at the fast food place, it's white lettuce. It does not count as a vegetable. French fries are not vegetables, okay? <laughs> I got news for you. Those are not vegetables. 1.5% of Americans right now eat vegetables, 1.5, 1.5, that's it. That means kids, that means adults, that means, you know, seniors, the whole deal, 1.5%, that's it. So we probably need to increase to a plant-based diet, I would say. And if you do that, guess what? B vitamin levels will be extremely high if you're getting more servings of vegetables, especially green vegetables throughout the day. You'll have a massive improvement in how your body responds and functions with getting the right kind of B vitamins. But AFib, that's typically what it is. And, you know, you can do a B-complex vitamin, but you nothing substitutes for whole foods. Like nothing substitutes for getting the natural whole foods in. It just doesn't. Like nothing's better than the quality than that, and getting your, your vitamins and minerals from your food. Now, our food's pretty depleted, and so that's something that you got to realize is that you know, foods are, are depleted. So it's one of those things that you've got to say, okay, I can eat healthy and I can eat organic, but I probably need to take vitamins and minerals as well to offset that. But AFib, I would encourage you is that. And then also remember there's a mineral in the body or a gland in the body that's impacted by a mineral called the thyroid gland. You ever heard of the thyroid gland? The thyroid glands in the body, it sits behind the Adam's apple right here in the throat. 
And it's a gland that if you don't have enough iodine in it or in the body, if you don't have enough trace mineral iodine, then it's not going to function the way that it needs to. It's not going to function at its peak level. And remember, the, the thyroid gland is responsible for your heart rate and rhythm. It's also responsible for your mental clarity, and it's responsible for your metabolism. So it, it regulates all these different things. And if you don't have enough uh, in there of your, you know, the iodine in the body, then you're not going to be able to saturate your body with what you need. And that's something that you really want to think about. So if you deal with AFib, a lot of times it can be a mineral or vitamin deficiency. Now, there can be some genetics that play with that, but it's not as much genetic as we all make it out to be. So there's so much you can do with AFib. I just want to encourage you with that because it's, it's a big, big deal. Now, let's, let's do this. I'm so glad you're with us, by the way. Like it, this, this, I, love, I love doing this. Like I love being here with you. If you haven't checked out our health club, you have to. Like our health club is, it's amazing. It's a place where you can go and be with other people in a community and it's virtual, right? So you can be in Timbuktu, you can be in California, you can be in India, you can be in the UK, you can be in Australia. And we have people in there from all over. It's so cool because every, all over the world, people have joined our health club and it's a place where you can go and learn. I go in there and I teach things that I don't teach here. I go way more in depth in there and you can interact with me a lot easier. So we can like two way talk. It's like a zoom call. So we can all interact and we can all talk and, and really be uh, engaged with each other in, in, the, in that, in that way. So we love, to, I love to be in there and be a part of it with you. But one thing I want to encourage you with, and this is super important is it, joining the health club, go to uh, believe health TV. You can see it there. But also just know that there's other people in there just like you. Like if you need to lose 100 pounds, I was saying, there's somebody that's lost 50, right? Or vice versa. If you've been taking like three or four medications, there's somebody that's been off those medications, most likely. And they followed our principles and our teachings and all that. And they can shorten that duration of you trying to figure that out. And if you need a free copy of my book, we're giving that to you for free. Look, go to myfreehealthbook.com, myfreehealthbook.com. We're just giving that away for free. But just to be a support to you for you being a great viewer and listener and a great support to us. It has the anti-inflammatory diet in there, so you can follow that as well. All right, let's get to the phones and talk to Bobby. Hi, Bobby. What's your health challenge? I'm calling because I work three nights a week, and I work night shift. And I've heard that impacts your circadian rhythm in a negative way. And I wondered what kind of negative impact does working night shift have on your circadian rhythm and your body and just your mind and nutrition and everything? Yeah, that's a great. Bobby, I'm so glad you asked that. And just, just look at you with your circadian rhythm. Look at you with your big fancy health words. I love it. You bring all that to the table. That's awesome. So your circadian rhythm, let me break that down for you. Our body has this natural clock, just like a regular clock, right? So we have a regular clock, and the body keeps this clock called a circadian rhythm. Certain things in the body regulate that, one of that being our light, that like natural light outside. When it gets dark outside, our circadian rhythm knows that it's time to go to sleep. The body, it sends a message to what's called the pineal gland in the brain, shoots out melatonin, which you've heard of probably. It's a hormone that causes us to get sleepy and go into a stage of sleep, right? Or to fall asleep. When your body's in their natural cycle and it's time to go to bed, like it's nighttime, but you're getting jacked up to go work a night shift because you gotta be on, and then you go in some building that's got bright lights like the studio, and it's like so bright, your brain's total your body's totally freaking out. Okay, it takes time to adjust to that. The, the truth is, and science tells us, that it never really adjusts. You learn to deal with it, but it, it never really adjusts to that. So I want to encourage you that you can do the best that you can, but just know that even if you got your body to adapt to it at 80%, that there's still going to be some struggle there. The body's natural thing is that it wants to sleep at night and be awake during the day. And it impacts hormones. It impacts the body's ability to burn fat. It impacts cognition, the way you think. It impacts the way uh, that your your uh, your body works overall, meaning your performance and like athletic activities and and that kind of thing. It all it does. It's proven. It doesn't mean you can't function. It doesn't mean you can't overcome that to a certain degree. But you have to do some things to offset that. 
to really win the battle. Are you ready to chow? It's time for Keto Chow. When it comes to eating healthy, the keto diet has become one of the nutrition leaders in optimizing health, losing unwanted weight, and reaching your health and wellness goals. No extravagant cooking, no long kitchen cleanup, and most importantly, especially for me, it's convenient. Just put quality keto chow powder in a bottle, add some heavy whipping cream or your favorite fat, a little water, and boom, shake it up and you're ready to chow. Keto chow tastes amazing. So make keto chow easy for you and your family today with keto chow. Let's go chow. Visit keto chow online at ketochow.xyz. That's ketochow.xyz. Connect with On Call Radio and watch On Call TV at InShapeNetwork.com. So I want to talk about ways to really help the circadian rhythm. Your body has this natural internal clock, and there's some tips and tricks you can really follow to make your circadian rhythm optimized, especially for those of you that are working night shifts and you're, you're doing those kind of things. Number one is regulating your sleep pattern. Like, without a shadow of a doubt, you want to go to bed at a certain time every day, whether it's like 7 in the morning, and wake up at a certain time. Create a bedtime routine just like it was nighttime. So your body wants to get used to that. You have to give the body a routine. Our bodies crave routines, so we need that. So give your body that, number one. Number two is your eating habits, okay? You want to follow a real steady eating pattern. Like, normally at nighttime, you would not eat mostly. You'd be sleeping, right? So you want to go, even if you're not hungry at night, you're going to want to eat like you would normally during the day. So if you like work a night shift, you want to eat every three hours. So you eat at 7 p.m., 10 p.m., you know, 1 a.m. Treat that nighttime shift like it was the daytime and eat your normal meals. Then when you go to bed at 7 in the morning or whatever, that's when you go seven or eight hours without eating. So you just have to create that shift. Now, over time, your body will adapt. And I would say to about 70, 80 percent of that. So you're going to be fighting against that at some level. But at the end of the day, that circadian rhythm is so vital for so many functions in the body, you've got to get it to a certain point so that hormones can regulate your sleep patterns, your energy levels, all of that can self-regulate and get it going in the right direction. So I would encourage you there, if, you, if you're dealing with circadian rhythm, it has to do with our adrenal glands. And our adrenal glands are these little tiny glands. They sit on top of the kidneys. Okay, that's where they get the name. So the name for kidney is renal and the name for the adrenals, adrenal, right? means on top of the kidney. The interesting thing about that is it controls our epinephrine, norepinephrine, and our, a lot of our boost of energy. If you ever have that what we call fight or flight syndrome where you, know, you feel like you're, you're scared and you get the surge of energy, that comes from the adrenals. Cortisol shoots through there. But nine times out of ten, if you're eating the right kind of foods and you get proper rest, you can help support, can't completely reset it, but you can support your circadian rhythm, keep the adrenal glands working at best that they can, and get the body working. But it's so vital to have your nutrition right. I will tell you that one key for balancing your circadian rhythm, especially on a night shift, is uh, exercise. And I do mean every single day. You're going to need to exercise, I would say, between 15 and 30 minutes every single day, no matter what. If it's a walk, whatever it is, but I would encourage you to do it. It will reset everything when it comes to your now, circadian rhythm, another term we use is kind of our body clock or our biological clock. It keeps that thing functioning the best way possible. So that's just a great, a great way to do that. And so many people are doing that now. They're having to pick up different jobs and work, you know, overtime or work overnights or whatever. So it's just a great way to do that. And I want to encourage you that it's, it's possible to keep your body healthy in the middle of that. Now, if you haven't got a free copy of our book, we're giving that away for free as a total gift for everybody being a viewer, listener, and just being supportive of the show. So go to MyFreeHealthBook.com. That's MyFreeHealthBook.com, and you can get a copy of that. If you haven't joined the health club, you got to check it out. Go to Believe Health TV, our network. Go there. We'll have all kinds of information about it. You can be a part of our community, which I, I just love. You know, everybody gets a ton of value out of it. They're, they can jump in there with everybody else that's dealing with things like diabetes or heart disease or losing weight or just want to get fit. Maybe you want to get abs and get lean. <laughs> like It's got everything in there of what people are struggling with and really the best ways to, to come out of that. So we want to encourage you. Join the health club. Go to Believe Health TV and you can check that out as well. But on this show, we want to help you. We really do. We want to help you be the best version of you to thrive and not just barely make it, but really get into a place where you can do well. If, you, if you're wondering about supplementation and what you should do for supplements, then a big key for that is this. Just remember the foundational four. They're listed on the website. They're in my book. Go to myfreehealthbook.com. But the foundational four supplements will lay in and fill in the gaps for what you're not getting 
in your regular food supply. That is the ultimate key. So glad you're with us. Listen, let's get on the phones, though, right now. I want to go to Elmer and check out Elmer. Elmer, what is your health challenge? I enjoy the Dr. Asa. It's very good, very informative, and uh, very excellent uh, in his explanations. Well, thank you. I appreciate so that. So my question good. is about colloidal silver, and what is the verdict on that? Yeah, so colloidal silver, I, I'm a big fan. I like, I prefer ionic silver. I think it's a better molecule size for what our bodies handle. But colloidal silver has been used for, gosh, hundreds of years for medicinal purposes. It's cleansing. It's antiviral, antibacterial. We know for a fact it does so many different things in the body, but it's very cleansing to the body in a lot of ways. So it's good to use. You can ingest it. You can put it externally on uh, cuts and scrapes and things along those lines. Even good for scarring. Uh, it's beneficial. But colloidal silver is great. It's one of my go-tos. In, in regular medicine, they don't put much to it. And again, I've got three doctorates, right? So in regular medicine, it's not really looked at as valid. But in the natural medicine world, like in naturopathic medicine, it's a big go-to. I mean, a lot of docs use that. A lot of docs overseas in other countries use colloidal silver or ionic silver as well because of the properties and the benefits. It's just not really revered much uh, in our standard uh, medical community, but it does have a lot of merit uh, from the research I've seen and done and, of course, used it many, many times, myself personally and then, of course, clinically as well. It's just one of those, uh, colloidal silver, it's in all the health food stores, and again, unless it's had 25 triple blind studies done by whatever, but who's going to really do studies on that when there there's no benefit really for whoever's doing study? And there's a whole thing around that too. But I mean, there's reality is the studies are mostly focused on the medications and the bigger things that are, are coming down the pipeline in the medical community. But thanks for that question. Great, great question. If you haven't gone to the website, go to Believe Health TV. Always remember that you can reach out to us, any form of social media, send me a direct message, a DM. You can also text me. There's a text number there. If you have questions, we can get our health coach providers to help you in any way possible to take you by the hand and, and get you going in the right direction. Because at the end of the day, it's about making the right choices. All right. We've got Samantha in Austin, Texas, that asked the question. She wants to know, what can you do for gout? Oh, gosh, that's that's a simple one. Remember, gout is this. It's nothing but the body's inability to break down proteins. It causes high purine content, which makes crystals form in a joint like the big toe. So what you have to do is a couple of things. Number one, you want to remove all the body's ability or impre- increase the body's ability to break down proteins. Hydrochloric acid, betaine hydrochloride is a great supplement to use in those lines. And then also apple cider vinegar has been shown to be really helpful on that to, to help break down those uric acid crystals. And again, gout's one of those things where if you need the medication, you know, obviously do what your doctor says, but there's so many things you can do along the way naturally to be supportive of that. Also, blueberries have been shown to be very supportive with people that have gout and eating the right kind of foods. But don't forget that, you know, avoiding red meat and avoiding a lot of those kind of uh, red wine, those kind of things, high sugar type diets can influence that in a negative way. So you want to make sure that you do the right kind of things when it comes to your diet. Did you know you could listen to the Asa RX audio experience on Spotify and Pandora? For all the ways to watch and listen, check out our show page at asarx.com slash experience. Hi, it's Asa. I'm giving you a copy of my best selling book for free to help you in your health journey today. I'll pay for the book. All you do is just cover the small shipping and handling costs. Go to AsaRx.com and get your free book today. This episode is over, but check episode notes for links to products and services you've heard about on this episode. Thanks for listening and subscribing. Please share the AsaRx audio experience with others and stay in touch by giving us your comment or review.